Hey guys, what's up? Me, Jeff here, and I'm going to show you how to install mods in Minecraft 1.6 and 1.6.1 .6 on Mac, PC, and even Linux for you cheap bastards out there. And let's get started. Alright, so this is my first time making a tutorial. So, just give me a break, you fucking asshole, okay? Just do it. I'm doing this though because when I got 1.6, I couldn't install mods. I didn't know how to. When I looked for videos, there weren't any. I could, like they have videos of people with mods on 1.6. They don't show how they do it. And then I, finally today I found one, and I said it had been forever since I've been able to do it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it because it's just you just need to know. If you've used MC Patcher, which is what I used before. It's a great tool. I just highly recommend it if you're not going to play 1.6. I don't know why you're not going to play 1.6. Because it has horses. Although I hate horses. Personally, I really hate horses. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But it's good. It has clay and everything. This tool that I'm going to show you is basically the exact same thing as MC Patcher. It installs the mod for you. I don't know if it does texture packs. I've just gotten it. But it installs the mod for you, as I just said and it's very simple it doesn't need to touch the jar file which is basically how it works and why it works it's called magic launcher now i'm gonna have the magic launcher download link in the description it works for both pc mac and linux when you go to the page it looks like this you just scroll down to the bottom just screw the stupid pictures don't read anything everyone hates reading and here you have the Windows download, the Mac download, and the Linux download, which is mostly just for Linux. I don't know why I download that. Download is simple. There's no ads, nothing to have you download. You just click on download. And here, it downloads it. Now, sometimes it will not tell you how much there is to download, but sometimes it does, but it's a very small file, so no worry about that. All right? When you download it, the setup's easy, you just unzip it, and it's right there as the application. Just put in your applications if you want to, put it wherever you want. When you start it, it's very easy too, quick startup. It has this very easy menu right here, it has information on everything, which is great. It has Mejang News that it loads, it takes a while, but here it is. News, Mejang News, this other stuff, Minecraft Wiki even too awesome actually. If you want to start a mod you click on setup and here I already have two mods you click on add and it goes into your files and it wants you to add a mod so you go into your files and then to go back a file you click on that and then that's about it. It's so simple. And then when you click on the file that you want you just click on it and press open. Now, I don't need to, because I already have my mods here. When you're done, you press OK. You can test it if you want to. Configuration. I don't really know what is that for, but, you know, I just got it. So, when you're done, you press Login. Or you can actually play offline if you want to. Login. Then it's done. And this is 1.6. Let's make this full screen here. Single player. We're going to create a new world. Create the new world. Let's see if I have my Too Many Items mod, which I love. It's great for building. I also suggest the mod. Alright, so I'm in my biome here. It seems to be a jungle. And let's see. I press E. There's my mods. Right here. There's the mod. And again, I'm going to escape, save, and quit. 1.6. So. That's basically how you install mods on 1.6. Really simple. That's how I do it. There's probably more than one way, but that actually might be the best way. It's very simple, and it's a great launcher, actually. I did not make Magic Launcher. I have no rights to it. I'm just promoting it. It's a great thing. And hopefully, you've learned how to install mods on Minecraft 1.6 for all types of computers. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And hopefully I never have to do another tutorial.